What's up? Econ John here. Welcome to a three-part series on the Ramsey Cast Koopmans model. In this video, we're going to give an introduction to the model and talk about the households part of the model. Let's go. So what is the Ramsey Cast Koopmans model? The Ramsey Cast Koopmans model is an infinite overlapping generations model of economic growth by which the dynamics of economic aggregates are determined by the decisions at the microeconomic level by all consumers in the economy maximizing utility and all firms maximizing profits simultaneously. The RCK model is similar to the solo model, but is also similar in the sense that there are fewer equations to solve for. The way we solve the RCK model is essentially by performing a utility maximization exercise. The way the simplification is made in this case is that we assume households own the firms, so we only have to solve a single utility maximization problem. To solve the RCK model, we need one, our household's utility function, two, our household's budget constraint, and three, we have to set up our Lagrangian and solve for the first order conditions. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the household's utility function, part one. Just a quick tip for understanding the RCK model, you're gonna see a lot of integrals. Don't worry about computing them since we're gonna end up avoiding all the integrating when we solve the model. So, the utility function for our representative household in the economy of the RCK model is defined as the integral of E raised to the power of negative rho T, which is our discount factor, times our instantaneous utility function, which is U as a function of consumption at time T, times the average number of household members at time T, which is LT, which is the size of our labor force, all over H, which is the number of households. So this is just a fixed number. This utility function is interpreted as lifetime utility of all households is the sum of each of their discounted instantaneous utilities at time t. Note that for our first term, e raised to the power of rho t, that if our discount rate rho is large, more our household values current consumption over future consumption, and if rho is small, then the household values future consumption over current consumption. The household's instantaneous utility function, which is the utility function which is dependent both on the level of consumption and when it's consumed, takes the form of u as a function of ct is equal to ct raised to the power of 1 minus rho theta all over 1 minus theta, where theta is greater than 0. And this identity, rho minus n minus 1 minus theta times g, is greater than 0, where theta is the constant elasticity of marginal utility with respect to consumption. This is known as the constant relative risk aversion utility function. This is because the coefficient of relative risk aversion for this function is theta. Know that if theta is high, then the consumer is less willing to substitute consumption over time. If it is small, the consumer is more willing to substitute over time. The reason why we choose this specific functional form is because it is necessary to go and solve for an economy that converges to a BGP. So that's what I have to say about households. And that was the introduction to the RCK model. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the household's budget constraint. See ya.